Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by main sponsor Sima. CGMA Finance Leadership Program, the fastest route to completing the Sima Professional Qualification. Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by co-sponsor Munchy Chok Chok. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside. There's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy Chock Shock from one shock to another. Don't let COVID ruin your Christmas plans. This Christmas, await as we bring some of your favorite Christmas tunes right to the comfort of your homes. So this is for you and yours from us at Quadrangle. Gather your loved ones and be prepared to get into the Christmas spirit. Ding, dong, ding, dong. Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by CGMA Finance Leadership Program. The fastest route to completing the SIMA Professional Qualification. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy Chock Shock from one shock to an... Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Programme. A self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. A ray of hope glitters in the sky. A shining star lights its way up high. All across the land dawns a brand new morn. This comes to pass when a child is born. Good evening to all our viewers watching us from home. I'm Kavinka Fernando for the Quadrangle team and you are joining us at St. Peter's College, Colombo 4, where we will be witnessing at 7 p.m. an evening of Christmas carols presented by the Western Choir of St. Peter's College, the Teacher's Choir and the Primary Choir, along with the Peterite Ensemble, the Western Orchestra and the Peterite Chorale. But just to give you a brief history about this school's Christmas carols, it's been happening since 1976, although one could argue that it was under Reverend Father Joe E. Vikramasinghe's reign that he decided to have a Christmas carol. So it was under Father Joe E. Vikramasinghe's reign, the rector at the time, who decided to have this service on a December evening, such as this. And ever since then, it has been happening regularly, every year. Except this time, it's much more different. As you can see, there is no congregation to grace this event. Rather, you are watching it from home due to the present circumstances. Well, it's a first, but everything has a first time. Well, although the circumstances might be different this time around, the Quadrangle team, on behalf of the entire Pete Wright family here in Colombo 4, invites you to join us in praising for the, pra the quadrangle team invites you to join us in praising God for this great year great but challenging I'm Kavin Fernando for the quadrangle team from St. Peter's College Colombo 4 Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. 
Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SEMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. Don't let COVID ruin your Christmas plans. This Christmas, await as we bring some of your favorite Christmas tunes right to the comfort of your homes. So this is for you and yours from us at Quadrangle. Gather your loved ones and be prepared to get into the Christmas spirit. Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by... CGMA Finance Leadership Program, the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. Don't let COVID ruin your Christmas plans. This Christmas, await as we bring some of your favorite Christmas tunes right to the comfort of your homes. So this is for you and yours from us at Quadrangle. Gather your loved ones and be prepared to get into the Christmas spirit. Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by... CGMA Finance Leadership Program, the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by main sponsor, Sima. CGMA Finance Leadership Program. The fastest route to completing the Sima professional qualification. Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by co sponsor, Munchy Chok Chok. All you see is a biscuit, isn't it? But inside, there's chocolate. A shock of pure Italian chocolate bursting from a soft biscuit. Munchy chock shock from one shock to another. Child is born. The annual carol service of St. Peter's College. It is an evening of praise and prayer in celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We gather today to hear with joy the message brought to the world through the birth of a child over 2,000 years ago. We shall journey back in time to Bethlehem to reflect on the nativity, 
to try and really hear Christmas as if for the very first time. Christmas carols of our college has always been a special event where our loved ones gather together in sharing the Christmas spirit. However, due to the prevailing situation of the country, we are unable to accommodate everyone this evening. But we are delighted to bring today's proceedings virtually to you to be a part of this service from the comfort of your homes. To begin with this evening's proceedings, on behalf of the Petrite family, we warmly welcome our chief celebrant, Reverend Father Trevor Gerard Martin, our past rector of St. Peter's College, and a warm welcome to the priest community and the old boys who are present here. Now, let us all rise for the entrance procession.
I now invite Master Ovidu Atukorala, the head prefect, to lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we are gathered here today to sing our praises, celebrating the birth of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On this joyful day, we pray for the current pandemic situation and all those affected. May we all be able to return to our normal lives with your grace. We pray for all those who were involved in organizing Carols 2021, that with your blessings, we may be able to conduct this event successfully. We pray for our Father Rector, priest community, teachers, parents and fellow students. May they be able to celebrate a meaningful Christmas filled with happiness and joy. We also pray for those who will not be able to celebrate Christmas this year. May they receive your abundant blessings and experience the joy of this festive season. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, Saint Peter, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated.
of this happens because the world is waiting, waiting for one child. Black, white, yellow, no one knows, but a child that will grow up and turn tears to laughter, hate to love, war to peace, and everyone to everyone's neighbor, and misery and suffering will be words to be forgotten forever. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation. Thou hast increased its joy. They rejoice before thee as with joy at the harvest. As men rejoice, when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff for his shoulder, the rod for his oppressor, thou hast broken as on the day of Midian. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. Upon the, th upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord.
please rise for the gospel acclamation. I bring you good news of great joy. Today, a Savior has been born to us, Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged and was now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. The Gospel of the Lord Please be seated. My brothers and sisters, Reverend Father Rector, the police community, and dear friends, going down the memory lane, I was thinking about uh, an incident that took place in school here at St. Peter's, I was conducting a life education class. I told these advanced level students from the bio class, imagine that you have only six hours to live, just six hours to live. What would you do? I asked them, if, you, if I tell you that you have only six hours to live, what would you do? Then I asked them to raise their hand and uh, say what they would do. One uh, student said, Father, I will uh, call my dad and mom and brothers and sisters and uh, spend the six hours with them because the family is important. 
and another said uh, father i have an account my father's account i'll tell my father to withdraw that money and to share that money with some poor people and then another told father i am angry with a friend i will see whether i can uh, uh, be in, i'll try to be in touch with him and try to reconcile with him so there were few uh, uh, answers given by the students and one would said i will try to go an extra mile for another and yet another said i people want to listen i go to the, one of the homes and then listen to one of the old people they want to talk to some people so i told them after they came out with the answers i said now these are your needs these are your needs and you consider these needs because you know that in 6 hours time the world is going to end and you do it because you know what the lord wants on the day of judgment the lord is going to question you and you think these are the things some of the things that you need to do these are some of the things that you need to do not that you have to do you need to do my dear friends now as we are in the season of advent we are in the second segment of the season of advent and we are getting closer and closer to the birth of jesus or to celebrate the birth of jesus christmas we say is all about jesus and uh, if this person who is to be born if you ask this particular person or jesus what do you want my lord what do you want us to do i'm sure the lord will say what the students said they thought they have to do it they need to do these things family union family bonds should be strengthened showing care and concern for one another in the family and also forgiving a person who has offended you or hurt you or sharing some whatever you have the resources with some somebody else so these are needs if these are needs and if you do because you have only 6 hours to live i'm sure when you celebrate the birth of jesus won't you consider them as needs to to welcome the lord you do what the lord wants you want you do what the lord jesus he came and took flesh to be among us and he wants us to do these things what the students said the lord is very particular about our family ties family bonds the lord is very particular about having good relationships the lord is very particular about that we share what we have with others the lord is very particular that we go that extra mile for another and today's reading we in the fourth sunday we are told about mary going to visit or mary visited uh, cousin elizabeth according to biblical uh, scholars mary had to go 100 kilometers that probably would take a week to walk to meet elizabeth now that is because of the bond they had the family bond that is because of the care and concern that mary showed towards elizabeth now these are things my dear friends that probably we will have to focus when we celebrate christmas these are needs not only of the advanced level students these needs are not only are needs for a particular time just because we have 6 hours to live you can't consider them needs and when you have more time to live you can't uh, forget those needs sometimes what happens in practice is those needs sometimes we convert to wants because we have more time we are hardly bothered we are focused when we have less time we are less focused 
when we are more time. Yet we don't talk about forgiveness. We don't talk about family ties. We don't talk about sharing what we have because we, we think we have more time. But when we know that we have less time, then we think about the needs. These become needs. Yes, my dear friends, today, when we celebrate this, this Christmas in an environment of a pandemic environment, where there are so, so much of social issues that we hear in the country, how can we make this Christmas more meaningful? For me, personally, we have to think about those needs. This is what these advanced level students said, is not only need, they are, they are not only needs for them, they are also needs for us. They are universal needs. So let's think of these needs, not only when we have, when we step into Christmas, or let us not think about these needs only when we have, when we are, when we are in the season of Advent. These needs are, they are all the time. These needs have value, my dear friends. Now recently, as a parish priest, I used to take communion to the sick people. And when I went and visit these sick people and come back, I used to tell the Eucharistic minister who goes with me, I said, uh, I should say, Johan, I think I have done my best for the day because I have taken the Lord to these old people and I have been able to listen to them. And they showed a lot of interest in talking to me and going and uh, giving them the satisfaction by listening to them, I enjoyed. I was very much content. I was very much happy. I thought, it's enough for the day. Yes, my dear friends, today we need to be very particular about those needs. So let's be very specific. The Lord has even uh, gone in that extra, gone into details by telling us, when I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was thirsty, did you give me anything to drink? Then we asked the Lord, Lord, what time did you come and ask for these things? The biggest problem with the Lord is he comes with the wrong uniform and he makes requests from us in different uniforms. But it is important for us, I always say, for me, meeting somebody is an opportunity for us to evangelize. Meeting somebody and having a discussion with somebody is a moment for us to evangelize. It is a moment for us to talk about those needs. Today, what we lack is people are not focused, particularly with regard to these needs that we talk. We don't give that emphasis. I would conclude by, with these uh, four lines of the poem that I mentioned this before time and time again, because it is relevant, I, would, I don't mind uh, repeating. I will pass this way but once, I will not pass this way again. The little good that I can do, I will do it now. I will not postpone it because I will never pass this way again. These four lines are pregnant with meaning. If on any busy day when you walk on any of our roads, you will pass so many people. And how many of you realize that many people that you pass you will not see them again. Many people that you pass, you will not see them again. So while passing somebody, ask for a favor. Don't hesitate to help if you have the resource to do so. Yes, my dear friends, let us take one day at a time. It's never too late, better late than never, for us to make a U-turn this season of Advent and focus on the needs and see how best we can reveal the Lord to others in all what we say and do. With that, uh, may I take make use of this opportunity to thank uh, Reverend Father Hoyt Rodrigo, the rector, and the priest community, and uh, the members of the staff, and the parents uh, for inviting me to be the chief celebrant this evening. And also would like to thank the, the boys who sang as well.
I now invite Reverend Father Rohit Rodrigo, the Rector of St. Peter's College, to deliver the vote of thanks. At the outset, we need to thank God, our Heavenly Father, for giving Jesus as our Savior, the one who brought light to this world. The reasons for our celebrations today is the birth of His only begotten Son. And therefore, we thank God and we thank Jesus, although he was God. He became man in order to give salvation to all of us. At the same time, let me also take this opportunity to thank very specially our chief celebrant this evening, Reverend Father Trevor Martin, who is no stranger to St. Peter's College. He was my predecessor, 11th Rector of St. Peter's College. Dear Father, we appreciate your presence this evening and uh, thank you very much for the thought-provoking homily that you delivered this evening. And I'm sure as we get ready to celebrate Christmas, your words of inspiration would help us to understand the true meaning of it. Let me also take this opportunity to thank Reverend Father Emmanuel Gibson, a priest who, was in who is in charge of the choir and uh, who was uh, the person behind organizing today's uh, celebrations. Thank you very much, uh, dear Father. And then uh, the choir director, Mr. Sanjeev Dabre, I know it was a very tough uh, situation we had to face because of the pandemic. We had very few days uh, to prepare for these uh, celebrations for the carol service, but uh, you took the responsibility together with uh, the teacher in charge, Mrs. Uh, Shannon Rasaya, and got everybody together. So dear Sanjeev Labre, thank you very much. And dear Mrs. Uh, Shannon Rasaya, thank you so much for getting everybody together to organize this uh, carol service. And then I also would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Mrs. Rantilini Fernando and Mrs. Ms. Nirmalin Romani, the teachers in charge of the primary choir. And then I also take this opportunity to thank uh, Mr. Navin Fernando and uh, Pete Wright Ensemble for their professional uh, musicianship that we saw this evening. I also would like to thank uh, the other teachers uh, who supported in organizing today's event. There are so many who were behind in organizing today's event, and I would like to thank each and every one of them. Mr. Sujit Silva, the crew of the Quadrangle, uh, for the live streaming, and also Mrs. Preeti for enhancing the chapel atmosphere through her decorations. I also take this opportunity to thank uh, the prefect's body for their invaluable service. Let me also thank Mr. Lal Pereira, the sacristan, and also all the support staff uh, for the trouble they took in uh, pre uh, doing the preparations for these celebrations. Finally, I also would like to thank all the parents it is because of your support, although most of you are unable to present, 
some of you are present in the congregation this evening, but uh, would like to thank every one of you, my dear parents. It was not easy uh, because of the pandemic. You had to bring them for constant practices uh, last few days and would like to thank each and every one of you. I shouldn't forget the Petrite uh, um, priest community. Thank you, dear fathers. Um, in different ways, uh, you come forward uh, to support every event that we have here at St. Peter's College. And thank you for uh, all the support that you extended today in organizing the event. I also would like to thank, thank uh, Mr. Manure uh, for the sounds. And there can be so many others. There are so many others whom I have not mentioned. I do not want to prolong my speech, but would like to thank each and every one of them. Very special thanks to the choristers, uh, the primary and also the upper school, Petrite Choral. It is uh, because of uh, you this event was uh, possible. I'm glad uh, and uh, to hear you singing uh, in front of you was uh, an amazing experience. Would like to congratulate all the singers uh, who came forward this uh, evening for all the trouble that you took. And uh, Mr. Sanjeev Dabre, together with uh, Shannon teacher and the two primary teachers, you took so much trouble uh, to come this evening. And uh, thank you for all what you have done. And uh, I'm sure the heavens uh, would be happy. And Jesus, uh, whose birth uh, we are about to celebrate, he is happy to hear you singing. The joy of Christmas, the happiness of Christmas is shared when we sing the carols. And the meaning of Christmas is understood in every single song that you sang. So thank you very much, everybody, for making this event possible and sharing Christmas uh, joy with us. And uh, finally, I would like to thank every one of you uh, for being uh, part of our celebrations and wish every one of you in advance a very happy Christmas. God bless you all. Thank you, Father Rector. Please rise for the final blessing. Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This brings us to the end of our carol service. We sincerely hope that through our service, the message of Advent will reach the hearts of everyone
present here today. Thank you for sharing the Christmas spirit with us. We wish you a holy and blessed Christmas. Good night and God bless you all.
uh, the chief guest and all the invitees to proceed to the lecture hall for refreshments. Thank you. 